These women have come to see what their future could look like. Hello. It's a new, medium density social housing development on the Gold Coast. Oh my goodness, look your own little seating area here. It's similar to the type of accommodation they're hoping will solve a problem these women share, housing insecurity. In an all too familiar story, Maggie Shambrook had a successful career and single handedly raised three children. Then redundancy hit. I had no success in the private rental market because I was then on New Start allowance. With no hope of ever owning their own home, the women sought the help of a newly formed foundation, sharing with friends. After meeting at a workshop, they've decided to pool what little superannuation they have to secure their futures. They require $120,000 in capital. Now that gets you, buys you nothing in terms of a, a house in any other private market. Their investment pays for the construction of affordable purpose-built accommodation with five private living quarters, communal laundry, a library and garden. It was really trying to work out well, what the, what's, the, what's the least you need to, to live privately and then what would you be prepared to share with other people that you've got to know. The foundation, which is currently seeking charitable status, provides the land, an 800 square metre suburban block. I have developed a database of about 120 women who are actively prepared to come into a model like ours. The idea not only provides a housing solution, but also addresses another epidemic, loneliness. I don't have any family at all. Um, and so the sense of community is important as far as I'm concerned. There are still hurdles to overcome, but these women now have hope for a brighter tomorrow. Daya Clark, ABC News.